OpenAI is proposing new models for its applications. Those models are here to solve complex problems. They should be solved for sciences, maths or coding. OpenAI says that that kind of models, they can be considered as equivalent to a PhD student. It is true that myself, I have some issues and complexity problems that I encountered while doing coding with ChatGPT. So I was really eager to test those new models and to see what they propose. But I can already tell you that it's just fantastic. It's Christian from Vision 6D. I use my expertise and experiences in AI and project management to level up your skills. I train and I consult for companies. The first math problem solving, I asked ChatGPT to prove a trigonometric identity. That is to say, sinus square of x plus cosinus square of x equals 1. For some of you, I see already your hair going up on your head, or some others are saying, hey, what is he showing? And some others are just relaxing and saying, well, that's not complex at all. You are right in all cases. What I will show here is how ChatGPT solved this. And you will see that it's really interesting. The first thing that we notice, it's here up, we see the different stages that the model is going through. It will analyze, decompose the problem. In our case, the resolution needed eight seconds. Today, what we have here as a model is limited to 30 requests a week. We are in a preview model. There is a micro version of the model that allows you today up to 50 solicitations a week. But let's go back to solving our issue. I have here just reminded through a graphics the different elements that we understand the reasoning and that we can check it. So I have here the trigonometric circle with the sinus side, the cosinus side and the angle in the middle. So we talk about the adjacent side and opposite side. In its reasoning, ChatGPT is reminding you some definitions for cosine and sinus. After that, it uses the theorem of Pythagore to show you how he does the proof that sinus square of x plus cosine square of x equals 1. This is the way in which you can see how it decomposed the different steps to provide you a conclusion that the identity is proved. Let's now move in something a bit more complex. We will do here the integral of an equation. We have now a more complex situation where in order to resolve that integral, it will use what is called the substitution method. I won't enter into all the steps, but what is important to understand is that it's structured the different steps and it's giving you the steps it goes through and the reasoning. And the result is really correct. But really for the fun, I did something with probabilities. The example is the following. In a class of 30 people, what is the probability that two of them have their birthdays the same day? Like that, we would have a huge party. Let's see how ChatGPT solved this. For those interested, ChatGPT is using the complement rule in probability. I let you discover 
how he did it. Hey, for those that are interested, here is the reasoning. So, are we going to do that party or not? And you see, ChatGPT, he even proposes an alternative to compute through software. More or less, we have 44% chances that two people will organize that great party for all of us. Yes, that's ChatGPT, how I like it. Now let's do some tests about coding. I will ask ChatGPT to create me an application that I can run in my browser, which is a task manager. For this, I will ask it to do it in JavaScript, create an HTML file and give me some styling in a CSS file. ChatGPT has now generated the code and now I can copy it into my editor, which is Visual Studio Code or VSC. I have now opened the folder in which I have the three files and I drag into my browser the index.html file. And as soon as I do that, the application starts. And we see that now I can start to create tasks with that nice user interface. So I created some tasks that are concerning the creation process of a video. We see that in the interface, I also have two additional buttons in which I can say that the task is complete. And this is what I do. And in the end, I can also delete certain tasks. Those examples were for me something really amazing. But of course, I'm going to continue to investigate on those subjects, especially the maths and the coding aspects. I'm eager to see what you have done as research, what you tested, and don't hesitate to send me back some information. It's Christian, and it's for me always a pleasure to be with you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.